Well, what's up again there guys, Brian here at 3TR and I'm in a really, really good mood because I'm here to talk to you about some Devil May Cry 5, which everyone and their mothers has been asking me online on social media and apparently during my live streams for me to share my thoughts on Devil May Cry 5, so let's get started. So. This trailer was revealed at the Xbox press conference here at E3, and I gotta admit, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, I really thought they might have saved this for Tokyo Game Show, but I'm glad that they showed it here. And I'm gonna be honest, when this trailer started, I was kind of horrified because it first looked like it was gonna be a sequel to DMC. And for those of you who've been watching my channel, I think that DMC really embodies the complete, utter, earthly embodiment of human sin. It is one of the worst video games I've ever seen created and I thought the game was just ugly. So to kind of see it somewhat in that style scared me a little bit. But then as the, play, the trailer kept playing along, we saw the first character and at first I thought it was Bob and I was totally scared. I was like, oh my God, they're doing DMC2. Oh my God, I, was, I want to break my computer. I was like, wait a minute, wait a second, that isn't, wait a second, Bob's hair is black and he looks like a crack addict. This this look this guy's got silver hair and I was like okay who's this person oh, okay it's Nero okay so our main protagonist for Devil May Cry Five is going to be Nero so obviously this thing is taking place sometime after Devil May Cry Four and he somehow has lost his devil arm interesting so as the trailer was playing through you get to see Nero in action you definitely saw some really cool gameplay uh, I really like the music that was playing in the background I'm definitely going to be looking that up. Uh, I'm not too sure about his little female sidekick. I happen to look her name up online, or apparently her name is Nico, and she's apparently uh, the person who created the uh, robotic arm that he'll be using, and apparently there's multiple different versions of it. So I'm guessing that throughout the game, uh, you know, if you, you know get more credit, she'll add more different variations, maybe different upgrades. I really, really like that dynamic. However, I'm not too fond of the character herself. She just seems a little bit over the top. I hope she's not like that throughout the entire game, or if she is, we don't see too much of her and she doesn't just hang around us the whole time. Uh, some really cool action, uh, a couple of story points, uh, and a mysterious figure in a like kind of like a kind of cloak that apparently takes off Nero's devil arm. Don't know who that is, and they have confirmed that Dante is back. He's a lot older. I like the funny thing is about the Xbox conference is that they kind of messed it up because they kind of zoomed out and showed the whole uh, conference area right when Dante showed up. And like you kind of want to wait for that big money shot. So Dante is back. He is definitely older. I like his look. Uh, I kind of like the direction that they're going. And the funny thing is, is that I actually made a video about four years ago talking about the five things I wanted to see happen in Devil May Cry 5. I'm actually leave a link to that video so please be sure to check it out and for the most part maybe they were listening to me because almost everything I wanted in the game is back. They got the voice actors back, uh, Dante's gonna be, they're gonna have multiple playable characters from what I've heard. Uh, it, it, it looks like, I'm, I'm hoping, this is the only thing I can't be, I'm not sure about. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to take place after Devil May Cry 2. I would love that if, if, if they did, because Devil May Cry 4 does take place right before 2, so now that we have a much older Dante, uh, I would even say he looks older than he was in Devil May Cry 2, even though that game came back, back, back on PlayStation 2. Uh, I would love if they would ta have it take place out of Devil May Cry 2. Uh, hopefully we'll see some returning characters like Lucia, Trish, Lady. I know that Kyrie is going to be in there somehow. Maybe she'll have a complete remake over. Maybe she won't be such a damsel in distress. Maybe she'll have a new badass transformation. Who knows? But overall, I am excited for this. This has really been the only announcement at E3 so far because I've already gone through the Xbox, the uh, Bethesda, the Ubisoft, the Square Enix, uh, the Sony press conference is apparently going to start in a little less than two hours. So I'm going to hope that, you know, that has some really cool announcements. But so far, this has been the only game that I've been excited for. And the only game that, certainly if it does come out next year, which it looks like it might, that might be pretty high on my top 10 most anticipated games of 2019's list. Uh, so, yeah, I don't really have any too many negative things to say. I like the look, I like the style. Uh, it's not DMC, they listen to the fans. It's gonna be a direct sequel. Uh, maybe some mystery. The, the only thing I'm concerned about, I will say this, uh, my only concern about the, the mysterious figure, I really hope it's not Virgil. Some people have said that it is Virgil. It's like you can tell from the boots and you can tell from the glove. It's definitely Virgil. 
I don't want Virgil to be the bad guy. I, I really, really don't. And there's there's been this whole story uh, involving Nero and Virgil, which apparently they've made it official online, but it makes no sense about how Nero is technically Virgil's son. I, I really hope, I really hope that they clear that up as for when the hell that happened, because anyone who knows character Virgil knows that he doesn't really like humans all that much, so I don't really see when he would have had time or why he would ever want to conceive with a, a human. Uh, and to have a child. I mean, maybe he was just drunk one night and had a one night stand. Maybe that's what happened. But I really hope that Virgil is not the villain. I understand that if it was Virgil and he wanted to get his Yamato back, obviously he's going to have to take it out of Nero's Devil Bringer arm. I just, I just hope he's not the villain. I would love for him to return and be a playable character. I'm not saying you change his whole char characterization and, and make him like a goody-goody like, like Dante is. I mean, you can still make him more of an anti-hero, but I just hope he's, if they bring him back, I don't want him to be the villain. Have it be someone else. Maybe someone wants to resurrect Virgil and they want to corrupt him or, or do something with him, but I don't want Virgil to be the bad guy. If he's in this game, don't make him the bad guy. I would be extremely excited. I'm pumped up for Devil May Cry 5. I can't wait to get my hands on it when it comes out next year. And yeah, that's really all I gotta say on the matter. I'd like to know, what were your thoughts on the Devil May Cry 5 trailer? Were you a little bit scared because it looked like DMC 2, maybe? Share your thoughts with me and everyone else in the comments down below. And if you like this video, feel free to like, comment down below, and please subscribe to keep track of me in my future videos. And please press the links in the description down below to follow me on Twitter and friend me on Facebook to keep track of me and, I mean, and all my awesome new projects. And like always, thank you guys for watching. You're awesome, and I will see you next time.